Congress legislator Martin M. Dango and Ronnie V. Lingdo were today, were today sworn in as the cabinet minister Araj Pawan. The swearing-in ceremony was administered by Governor V. Shamuganathan at the Dorba Hall of Raj Bhavan. To share in the name of God that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India, as by law established that I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India, that I will faithfully and conscientiously discharge my duties as a minister for the state of Meghalaya, and that I will do right to all manner of people in accordance with the constitution and the law without fear or favor, affection or healing. To any person, all persons, any matter which shall be brought under my consideration, all shall become known to me as a minister for the state of Meghalaya, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as such minister. Do swear in the name of God that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as by law established, that I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India, that I will faithfully and conscientiously discharge my duties as a minister for the state of Meghalaya, and that I will do right to all manner of people in accordance with the Constitution and the law without fear or favor, affection or injury. The much-awaited cabinet reshuffle held after Congress faced growing dissident within the party. In a cautious move, Chief Minister Mukul Sangma has dropped Deputy Chief Minister Rowell Lingdo and Health Minister A.L. Heck to enable the induction of Congress legislator Martin M. Dango and Ronnie V. Lingdo, ending speculation about the long-pending cabinet reshuffle ever since the Congress-led MUA-2 ministry assumed office in 2013. I think uh, uh, today it's a time to share it with you. So there'll be uh, there's already a proposal for a supplement, and based on that, I have already submitted my recommendation for induction of uh, two new friends into the cabinet, and uh, to facilitate me to undertake this whole exercise. I am grateful and thankful to two of my colleagues uh, who have been uh, pleased to cooperate and uh, submit their resignation to make this happen. So by Royal Lingdo, a very senior uh, minister in my cabinet, the deputy chief minister, uh, has uh, enabled me to have one space. <laughs> and uh, Mr. L. Hank, Another uh, good friend of mine and cabinet colleague has also enabled me to have this space. So I am embarking upon this exercise of uh, inducting two new friends into the cabinet. We hope uh, we'll be able to have uh, you know a concerted uh, effort uh, without any dislocation involving all the friends who will be in cabinet and those friends who are outside yeah, yeah. the cabinet. I feel after all, uh, whether a long time or short time, it's our duty to serve the state only. But then, have you lobbied for this? Uh, I, ne I never lobby, I wait patiently. <laughs> Whenever my turn comes, that's all. But then, you are in the dissident group, which. Uh, how, when do you have uh, uh, show me that in the dissident group? <laughs> how do you prove that, that I am? Means you are very much loyal to the Chief Minister from the beginning. Can be, I am a loyalist, uh, low Congress loyalist, that's all. Uh, well, 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 sir, how do you feel, how do you feel after becoming the chief minister? Uh, minister. <laughs> this is not the first time I become minister, before also I become minister, so there is no difference. Of but under, under chief minister, Dr. Mukul Sangma, uh, you I have... I have experience now of working with him, no? Sir, I have an opinion, in a big party, if you consider the dissident, then it's no longer a democratic party. Because you see, in a big party, we have to express our suggestions of opinion for the overall development of the state. And if expressing our views and opinion for the overall uh, development of the state, you consider that as dissident, then there is no democracy anymore. All the differences have been sorted out now. You see, there were no differences in the first place, or first place only certain areas need attention, need focus. That, do you, we would like that to be addressed. And if you say, 
that we, you know, requested, the Chief Minister requested the Ministers, there are certain areas that are to be given priority. And if you consider the dissident, then where is democracy? With this change, you think that the government will last in the last 2018? You see, even without this change, the government would have lasted till 2018. And I think it is in the wisdom of the Chief Minister is to allow some of us, you know, to be part of the government and learn the nuances of governance.